Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Richard French. We begin with the aftermath of the terror attack in Paris. France and the United States ratcheting a bombing of ISIS targets in Syria. French president says this was an act of war. That is a massive manhunt continues for the people responsible for the bombings and the shootings that killed 129. Let's go live to Marcy Gonzalez in Paris with the very latest. And on this dreary night here, you can see people still gathering here at one of the scenes, paying their respects as investigators focus on tracking down their two top suspects. Explosions echoed through the streets as the international manhunt for escaped Paris suspect Salah Abslam led police here, the Belgium town of Molenbeek. But hours after law enforcement thought they had him cornered, they found out he wasn't there. Authorities say the 26-year-old French citizen is on the run. One of his brothers died carrying out the attacks. Another brother was detained and questioned, then released today. En aucun cas. Mohamed Abslam says he is innocent. His family is shocked by what happened in Paris, and they don't know where Salah is now. Their neighborhood is also home to this man, now identified as the alleged mastermind of the Paris attacks, Abdel Hamid Aboud. He's already credited with planning that foiled Paris-bound train shooting earlier this year and also remains at large. Back in Paris, the city stopped in silence to remember the victims. And tonight, for the first time, the Eiffel Tower reopened, lit up in the colors of the French flag. Earlier, President Francois Hollande confirmed that ISIS planned the attacks from Syria and said he will meet with Russia and the U.S. to coordinate the fight against them. ISIL is the face of evil. Our goal, as I've said many times, is to degrade and ultimately destroy this barbaric terrorist organization. And France's president said the state of emergency here will now be extended for another three months. We're live in Paris. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News. Now back to you. Thank you very much, Marcy. Okay, tonight we will be taking a look at a lot of angles uh, in the aftermath of these terror attacks. First, the military options. France and the U.S., as you just heard, ratcheting up airstrikes on ISIS in Syria. But will NATO and boots on the ground be needed and be part of the equation. We'll talk to our top military analysts. Then we'll take a look at the intelligence and whether this was a massive failure and what will the fallout in fact be? Will this cause even more aggressive surveillance? And what about the trade-offs attached to that? Then will terror national security now be the issue in the presidential campaign? We'll get into all that and much more in addition to focusing on a local major trial in the metropolitan area. Please stay with us. Mm -hmm. 